I don't know why movie directors and game developers keep dropping us on worlds filled with bloodthirsty dinosaurs, but I'm fine with it. Now let's go see who will go extinct next. I'm Epar from Minigame Guides and today I present to you my 6 quick tips for second extinction. You can complete missions completely solo, but you really shouldn't. Now it makes the game extremely difficult, frustrating and basically less fun. So either group up with friends or join a random party. But if you choose to go at it alone anyway, play as either Rosie or Ortega. Now Rosie offers a strong minigun, defensive boost, health regeneration and electric fences to funnel the incoming dinosaurs into a kill zone. Ortega on the other hand has the ability to equip two primary guns, great mobility to her dash and a short combat state that boosts her rate of fire. I haven't found a single bad team member so far, but I do think Amir is one of the best picks when you're starting out. First off, his abilities may not be the flashiest, but support the team in massive ways. He can supply equipment boxes to fellow team members so they can heal when needed. His orbital surveillance highlights all enemies in the area, preventing any ambushes, and when combat arises he can rain down a precision strike to thin out the hordes of dinosaurs or bring down a massive one. Next to that, he's also the only one who has access to the grenade launcher that is great for quickly turning the tide in your favor. But because of this grenade launcher, you will be forced to use your sidearm when any dinosaurs are coming closer by, or kind dinosaurs in circles so you can hit them with your grenade launcher. When you kill dinosaurs, they may drop body pieces. Now be sure to pick these up as they'll get turned into research points which you can use to upgrade your weapons. Upgrading your weapons makes quite a big impact, so it's really worth watching out for. Typically the body parts will be highlighted in white, so you can easily spot them during the carnage. Hidden all over the map are bonus objectives like crates that you can launch up in the sky with boosters, activating towers or drones you can shoot down and steal their black box. Now this is a great other way to get research points to upgrade your weapons further, and beside that, be sure to look around for all kinds of explosive barrels as they can really help you out with thinning out the herds. The smaller dinosaurs like the indoor raptor looking ones you can only kill by pumping lead into them or blowing them up. Now I can say with certainty that shooting them in the head works better, but why not aim for that as it would be logical. The bigger dinosaurs like the Rex, Humpback and our Bull have some weak spots where they are extra vulnerable. For the Ankylosaurus and Bull this is on the belly and the Rex has this on the bottom of his throat. Now these blue spots aren't easy targets but they're worth going for when you have the chance. Since the Ankylosaurus actually hides his spot the best you can flip him over with explosives to get an easy shot. When you encounter a large looking raptor called a Watcher, kill him as quickly as possible. If you don't, he'll summon even more of his friends to come fight you. Luckily when one has spotted you, your character will say something like a Watcher is close by, and that way you know what you're looking for. Those were my 6 quick tips for preventing our extinction by the hand of dinosaurs. Now if you found this guide useful, be sure to give the video a thumbs up so other people can find it too. And if you like these kinds of guides, be sure to subscribe since it's what we're all about here at Indie Game Guides. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.